nice to have to encourage this that children will not be afraid of um, you know coming up with their ideas using their creativity and imagination. I was thinking that would be a good tool. Are you okay there? <laughs> that would be a good tool to also increase some social awareness and stuff like that. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the Idea Expo, and I was thinking on a school-wide uh, perspective, something that I can implement um, school-wide. So um, basically, it's um, an Idea Expo wherein each child is to come up with an idea. Um, and there are certain guidelines for the ideas, because there are so many ideas for so many things. But um, uh, we would like maybe ideas that are there to um, solve um, certain problems or issues. But then because this is from preschool, okay, preschool department to high school, the, we have guidelines for problems here. Problems need to be relevant depending on the level of exposure to information from, uh, from the class. So that you're not expecting uh, too much from a preschooler. It could be just, you know, about their getting their food somewhere or, you know, all these uh, interesting little problems that they usually get um, and trying to come up with an idea to solve uh, that problem or that, that issue. Um, whereas if, as they uh, get to the higher levels, then it would be expected that the things that they would like to find ideas for or solve should be um, uh, more or less the same level as to what they had already taken up in school, in their social <coughs> studies, in math, uh, economics, and all that. So the next guideline would be that members would be kept from, would be encouraged to be kept with, with, within one to five people. The reason why I chose one to five was because um, there is a tendency usually that when there's too many, some would would uh, end up not doing anything. And so five would be just right, especially if we wanted to document the whole process of coming up with the brainstorming to the presentation. But if the idea would entail uh, more than five, then they can actually propose this, and they have to justify it before getting the approval. So it's mm -hmm. flexible that way. Now, um, one of the requirements also is that there should be somebody to document um, the, the process and that this should be edited into a maximum of 10 minute uh, video, uh, just so that, you know, for documentary purposes and something that we can show um, others and be able to review and evaluate the, the activity or they can use it to evaluate themselves. Now, uh, it was raised earlier when I was um, presenting this, when we were presenting this to Anne, um, how about the smaller <coughs> children? Um, because that would mean that they would sort of be confined to coming up with storyboards and not a video because they wouldn't really have the video skills. But we would be surprised. Some actually could do that already with their simple phones. But um, one of the things that was suggested is that um, the higher level students can actually come in to help out with uh, documenting uh, this one for the preschoolers. And another requirement is that there should be values integration so that it should be a problem that is, um, that it should be an idea that would have integrity, would um, have social you know, concern for, for other people, and that um, you know, there is um, honesty in the way you are going to market your idea also and not just try to get them on board because you're flashing all these um, uh, things that are, uh, you know, what we talk about in uh, visual, uh, you know, being able to decipher um, what are the more honest, um, you know, um, advertisements from those that are not really. And then most of all, it should be original. It should be an original, or at least to themselves, it's <coughs> what they know of is that it is an original idea. Okay, so... <laughs> I listed down down here all the different departments that we would like to, because I would like to be able to aim that it is, first of all, integrated and interdisciplinary, so that different skills are going to be utilized in coming up, in preparing to, um, you know, uh, present their, their idea, uh, coming up with it and presenting the idea. At the same time, I also wanted to get all the different departments of the school involved in preparing the children and being there as guides so that, um, uh, you know, th they are also involved in, let's say, uh, for example, 
so this is the process of the idea X. <coughs> they determine the problem, come up with an idea to solve it, because it's something that really hits them maybe or is very important to them. So they come up with something there. They do, if their problem is, is already um, approved, then they come up with, they, they come up with researches um, that are supposed to help them come up with the idea um, for, the, for, for this. Now, um, in the research, this would actually involve a lot of skills like, um, you know, the networking skills, social skills will come out, writing skills, um, and the resources, resourcefulness will, will come out um, as well. Um, under um, these, of course, uh, certain activities, smaller activities would be um, letter writing to certain uh, maybe establishments or people that they would like to invite as resource persons. So I'd like to have the English teachers to come in and be consultants for them, see if they wrote their letter properly or nicely or if effectively. Um, report writing as well. And uh, these were actually with the help of uh, Rebecca. And the questionnaire is actually a very good tool for us, to, for us to be able to help them focus on what the essential questions are. Because if you know some students would, would be faced with another person that they could actually get so much from, but if their questions are not essential enough to what they would like to get, then you could actually just end up wasting um, time. Social uh, oral skills are also going to be exercised here, and so we have interviews and discussions. So there you go. Um, at the same time, one of the things that they will have to research on is the financial. Um, aspect of this, so that we're trying to, um, you know, bring out financial literacy. How much is it going to cost to get your idea um, across? How much is it going to cost to sell your idea? Um, which would, you know, is it later on that would help us determine if it really is indeed a good idea? Because you couldn't come up with such a big, um, impractical, um, you know, solution for things. And then. Um, there would be most probably three days, um, depending on the levels, prime, um, preschool, the grade school, and high school levels, um, wherein they will have their idea expo, which will be something like a fair. Um, they will be asked to present uh, their ideas. They will be given their own spaces. Um, that's pretty much as far as I've gone yet with the presentation. And so oral, visual, and uh, written, performed skills could uh, be exercised here. So for, so for the smaller children, I was telling Anne that they could actually, it would be a very good thing already if, you know, the more fearful children can actually get, um, uh, you know, get themselves to the front and um, just, you know, maybe um, uh, start singing their, their idea. Uh, or presenting it in any way that they are comfortable um, doing. doing. So, um, is there anything else I left out? Um, they can perform it. They can actually just uh, do one click and have a video presentation. Um, and uh, part of the processing after all this is I would like for them to be able to identify what different um, things were they able to um, uh, integrate into their idea or their project. So it's a project, with what Sydney said to Rebecca, a project to come up with a project. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So it's like a start of it. Because most of the time we're into science and environmental stuff already. I wanted something that maybe could touch on also the other areas of uh, discipline. Excellent. That's great. Wow.